Equity Theory of Motivation Explained Part 1. Understanding Equity Theory Equity Theory, proposed by John Stacy Adams in 1963, focuses on the balance between an individual's input and output in a work environment. Inputs refer to the contributions an employee brings, such as effort, skills, experience, and time. Outputs are what they receive in return, including salary, benefits, recognition, and job satisfaction. The theory suggests that employees assess fairness by comparing their input-output ratio with that of their peers. If an individual perceives equity, they are motivated and satisfied. However, feelings of inequity, whether underrewarded or overrewarded, lead to tension and dissatisfaction. This psychological tension drives the individual to restore balance. This process underscores the fundamental role of perception in determining motivation and productivity. Part 2. Mechanisms and Application in the Workplace In practice, employees compare their ratios to referent others, colleagues in similar roles or industries. For example, an employee noticing a peer with comparable skills earning a higher salary might feel underrewarded. Conversely, being overrewarded, such as receiving higher pay for less effort, can also cause discomfort due to guilt or perceived social imbalance. To address inequities, employees take actions like reducing effort, negotiating better rewards, or seeking a new job. Managers can mitigate such responses by ensuring transparent policies, equitable reward structures, and clear communication. Equity audits, employee feedback mechanisms, and consistent performance evaluations help in maintaining balance and fairness. Studies reveal that perceived equity positively correlates with job satisfaction, organizational commitment, and employee retention. In contrast, inequity fosters dissatisfaction, turnover, and workplace conflicts. Therefore, understanding and addressing equity perceptions are vital for effective motivation strategies. Part 3. Implications for Leaders and Organizations Equity theory emphasizes that motivation is not solely tied to rewards, but also fairness and perception. Leaders should foster a culture of equity by valuing transparency, recognizing contributions, and addressing grievances promptly. Training programs that focus on unconscious bias, inclusive leadership, and performance management align organizational practices with equity principles. Additionally, promoting internal mobility and development opportunities ensures employees feel their inputs are recognized and rewarded appropriately. Equity theory also extends to non-monetary aspects like work-life balance, flexible hours, and meaningful work, which influence perceptions of fairness. By aligning organizational practices with equity theory, businesses not only motivate employees,